Hi there guys and girls, I just wanted to do a quick news update in case you don't know because uh, I get flooded with uh, messages a lot when things like this happen. Uh, Did you hear about this? You know, I usually hear about most things. Sometimes I don't hear things though, so I appreciate the messages, but I thought I'd do a video first uh, just so you guys know like what's going on at the moment. But um, what's happened in the last few days is uh, they finally announced what's going on with Mortal Kombat Rebirth. For those of you who don't know what Mortal Kombat Rebirth was, that was that 10 minute trailer that came out just before E3 that had uh, Michael J. White in it, uh, Jerry Ryan, Richard Dorton, Ian Anthony Dale, and uh, others in, in it. Matt Mullis. M- I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> yeah. Uh, oh, hang on, I've got the names in front of me. Latif Crowder as Baraka. Uh, I think that's the only guy I left out. Yep. Anyway, what's happened is they find, you know, it was removed from YouTube and then it went quiet. When it was removed from YouTube, I sort of knew that it had been picked up and they were doing something with it. Now, this is the first time I'm going to say anything. I haven't told anyone this on the internet, but when I was at E3 playing Mortal Kombat in the back room, all these Warner Brothers people came in and and uh, they were from Warner Brothers Home Video or something, and they were talking about making something Mortal Kombat straight to video or DVD or something. I don't know if they were talking about this, but they were they were talking like that, and I just remained really quiet, <laughs> you know, and just listened. Um, I don't think they knew there was a fanboy in the area, but um, yeah, they were just casually talking about crap like that. And um, after seeing Rebirth, you know, they'd be stupid not to do something with it. So I think we all knew that something was going to come of it. And what, what's come of it now is they've just announced it. Bloody Disgusting were the first people to announce it. Um, they announced that... Uh, <coughs> let, me, let me quote them. So much for the proposed Mortal Kombat remake that Warner Brothers Pictures had hoped to get off the ground. Still fans of the uh, Bloody Battle are in for a treat as Bloody Disgusting learned that director Kevin Thatcher Rowan who directed the awesome online short, will be behind the camera for a 10-episode web series dedicated to the popular video game. Penned by Tatcha Rowan, Todd Helbing, and Aaron Helbing, star Michael J. White, leads the cast as Major Jackson, uh, Major Jackson Jax Briggs. Shooting will take, take place in Vancouver this coming February. Conte- contested, expected to be... Cast are Shang Tsung, Liu Kang, Sub Zero, Jurak, Cabal, Katana, Molina, and of course Scorpion. No release date is planned, and there is no word on the R rated remake until now. Um, the only plot details we could conjure up is a few Earthlings will fight to save the planet from Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung. Two gods ruling over parallel universes, or something to that effect. So that was the first thing we heard. Now, tonight. After that, I looked up all the um, the people on Twitter, you know, because Twitter's a great outlet for talking to celebs and stuff, you know, if they'll ret- reply back to you. But even if they don't reply, you know, they'll send out little messages. So I, I started following everyone from uh, MK Rebirth. Um, uh, Ian Anthony Dale first set out, sent out a few Twitter posts today. He said, hang on, I've got it here. Yeah, Ian Anthony Dale played Scorpion, by the way. Um, and he sent out two... Six hours ago, two posts. Are you all looking to get the scoop on the new Mortal Kombat webisodes? Follow the very talented Kevin Tatcheron. And then uh, his Twitter ID, which is K-T-A-N-C-H. Then he sent out another one straight after that and said, All I can say is that the Scorpion storyline hits hard. I think fans are really going to dig it. That's really cool. So, we've got that, and we've got the bloody disgusting post. Now, the best information came, again, um, just now on Twitter. Uh, MK Service sent out a, uh, a, a tweet 
saying um, checked out the banged and bored number six uh, number eighty six podcast. Uh, which is called Baba Dynamite. So if you guys log on to uh, smodcast.com, S M O D C A S T dot com, and then find the banged and bored page, um, you scroll down and you'll see choose a banged and bored episode in a, in a box. Click that and select number 86 to whatever. And then when that comes up, you'll be taken to a page. No, looks like that. It's not hard to miss. Big 86 next to it. Download number 86. And then you'll get to hear uh, what I'm going to put in this video anyway for you guys. But if you want to listen to that whole podcast, do that. But that's the source of this. Of this. But I'll just put it in the video so you guys can hear it. Michael, They interviewed Michael J. White. And he came from his words himself. Talking about doing something MK... He's going out to Vancouver in February to do the webisodes. Looks like 10 episodes so far. But the best news was that he announced, and then they're going to do the big thing. So it sounds like the, the webisodes are going to be a ramp up to a full feature film for this thing. Fuck yes. Awesome. This thing is going to be fantastic. And I can't wait to see it. And anyway, I just wanted to update you guys so you knew. You know, there's probably going to be more news during the week, I reckon, about this springing up. So keep your eyes peeled on Twitter. You know, if you're not following my Twitter, follow my Twitter because whenever I see stuff, I usually retweet it if it's good news. So, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys soon. Please enjoy Brendo and I's chat with Mr. Michael Jai White. Take it away, me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the uh, very distinct honor of being here at Golden Apple Comics for Spawn number 200, and we are joined by Spawn himself, Mr. Michael Jai White. How you doing, sir? What's up? What's up? Welcome Thanks to Bag and Board. Thank you for coming on so hey, much, man. Good to be here, man. You having fun coming out for this uh, Spawn event? Absolutely, man. Good memories, dude. So that's what I'm saying. Do you, do you still identify with the character? It's been how many years since the flick? Like, well, yeah, you know, people people still call me Spawn more than anything else. TMZ not, just called you yeah, Spawn. Yeah, Spawn, Spawn, man, yeah. But, you know, it's like they call <laughs> Now, now they're starting to call me other things. Now, yeah. now I'm sure you're getting yeah. black dynamite I'll and get stuff. Black dynamite, uh, bone, and and uh, and well, we're from blood, blood and bone. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. 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 Or Jax, the, Jax, even now too with oh, the yeah, Mortal Kombat yeah, thing. You shot that Mortal Kombat thing yeah. was sick. You got, so it ain't it ain't that. just Spawn anymore, man. It seems like you're knocking yeah. off all the big characters and kind of the the yep, geek realm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely, man. I'm get, it's it's these weird things. It's, these these characters, these one name characters, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep being called. But that's all good. No, absolutely, man. Yeah. So. So, um, were you a big comic book fan before you got involved with Spawn, or is it? No, not really, man. Actually, um, you know, I kind of uh, was a novice comic book fan, but then, um, you know, I was told about Spawn, like, you know, when the project was coming up, and that was kind of my baptism into. It. And that got you. That got you involved pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. And then you started reading all the Spawn. Did you do much research for the character? Yeah, or? Man, I, I grabbed all of them. Yeah, you know, but you know. When I when I had and then I realized I had to do a movie and the movie was the birth of the character and then I was like you know I just got to play the dude you had to play <laughs> Simmons and Spawn yeah. in that flick well, absolutely know, it was yeah about him learning about what the deal was so you know I mean I did the research but it was really about the first two no absolutely yeah. and and I and I, from man, Bruno tell me if I'm wrong on this but Spawn was really the first big comic book movie to come out it was well it Other was during Super, a lull period for for our generation yeah kinda, it was for the, the first, first book that we read yeah so, of the new generation of books I mean we had Batman and we had some of them so but for, as far for as a lot like of people out there you are the yeah. first you are the first foray into kind of superhero films you know what I mean you were you were Spawn being like the big one for our generation so yeah. how does that is that kind of cool? Like, uh, hey man, it's very cool, man. There's so many because people... you've done so much in your career too. You've been, you worked with Quentin Tarantino, right? You, yeah, you, yeah. Um, like we said, Black Dynamite. But to kind of all go back to that prolific character, do you still? Does it ever get old? No, man, it never gets old, man. I'm, I'm careful not to like complain about something because I mean, people like kill for my problems. They, they, they would love to be <laughs> able to complain no, no, yeah, about yeah. playing the first black superhero or playing the iconic Spawn character. Man, I, I don't, I don't want to hear myself talk like. No, absolutely, you know, right? Yeah, you know that, that's crazy. You're like, I, I know, I know too much of a good thing to realize that. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man, I, I mean, come on, you know, I, I, it, it's a blessing. That's that's why, you know, I, and, you know, when I heard about this. I'm going to come down, man. I'm going to come down and say, you know, I, I owe a lot. To absolutely. This come out and support Todd McFarlane and Spawn 200. And, you know, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, and then other than Spawn, you've actually, you've actually worked with some other comic book stuff. You were recently in Dark Knight. 
Yeah, yeah, I was how, in Dark Knight. How did that? How was that, man? Was that a great experience? That or? was a cool experience, man. Christopher Nolan, man, that yeah. guy is like, I mean, he's a genius, but he's like such a regular dude. He's just like really that it freaks you out almost, right? Man, You're like, how does that do stuff come from that guy's mind? He's such dude, a nice guy. He's he's a he's a cat that you know he feels like a dude that you see in Home Depot. No, yeah. he's, just, he's just regular. I thought he was going to be like some like eccentric type of cat, or like Hitchcock. Yeah. He yeah, roll up in his tuxedo. The great movies he's yeah. done, but he's just a regular cat. That's great, yeah. man. So, so that was fun. That was fun. I'm sure you get noticed for that all the time now, right? Well, yeah. Well, you know, it's it's you know more so than some of the other things, but you know because, uh, you know, but, but it's, it's a combination of stuff. It's everything. Yeah. People people know who you are, and then and then obviously we got to hit on it real quick. Black Dynamite, sir. Okay. I just got. I I love the film. Amazing. It's one of my favorite. My co-host Jesse is a. Uh, is obsessed with the film. You guys saw it early yeah, it too, right? Jesse and I saw it at LA Film Festival. Oh, cool! At the and, first screening, yeah. and and that's become kind of an almost instant cult classic. Yeah, man, I'm blessed behind that, man. I, 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 you know, that was one of my favorite things to do because you know I came up with the character, and you know, and so it's it's close to my heart. So know? that's yeah. out of out of everything you've done, would you say that's the thing that you're not? I don't want to say proud, but the thing you most identify kind of with, or? Well, I mean, for me, I mean, because it came out of my, you know, it came out of my brain, so yeah. I, you know, I birthed that. No, yeah, so, yeah. You so, are black dynamite. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's, so it's a lot of fun when somebody, you know, is like, they like what you've written. Absolutely, you know, it's not just, time, you know, it's not just your, your martial arts or a character you're playing. It's, it's you. It's your creative output. They dig, yeah, uh, yeah. So you know, it's, it's like. You know, like a chick saying, "I want to be known for my mind." You know, no, absolutely. But it's <laughs> it's, a, it's like the that. same thing, I'm you sure, know, for yeah, for movie yeah. stars and action dudes, man. That's yeah. cool. So, Black Dynamite went over huge, and I, I've heard rumors that it's not the last we're going to see the character, oh, no, right? No, we we got the cartoon, and we got we're going to do a Black Dynamite two. That's going to be, you know, I, I say uh, it's blacker and dynamitier. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That should be the yeah. tagline right yeah, there, man. Yeah. Nice. So very cool. So Black Dynamite two. That's something people uh, to really get excited about. You got oh, anything yeah. else coming up? You want to? Let the well, world yeah, know I mean, about. I, you know, I just uh, I directed a movie for Sony, um, Never Back Down Two. Oh it's, wow, it, oh, cool! It, it, I'm I'm telling you, it's the best mixed martial arts movie bar none. I That's mean, there's awesome. Nothing man. compares to this movie. Was that your first time directing a film, or yeah, it's my my first studio directing huh. deal. How did that go? Was it some, was it something it, you, you? It was tremendous. It was a wonderful experience for me, man. It's like. I even as an actor, I always thought like a director producer. No, absolutely. So this time I had to, you know, I, I acted like a <laughs> director. No, producer. yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, it really was like very fulfilling. That's great. Yeah. When, when can we? When can we find Never Back Down too? Well, I mean, it's good. probably more, uh, more like the summer. It'll probably be released in the summer. Ooh. But you know, I'm still putting the finishing touches on it. You know, put, put yeah. you know, we're still in post. You know, I was in the editing room last. No, night. I'm sure. Yeah, and so, how that? Yeah, I'm still doing it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Very cool. That's exciting. Any other plans to direct anything else coming up? Oh, or? yeah, yeah. I got a, a movie later on this this coming year called Mr. Man. It's a romantic comedy that I'll be directing. So you switch it. You're, you're yeah. all over the map. Yeah, man. I like nice. to change it up, man. And I got the action stuff. And, you know, there's a thing that uh, with the initials MK. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask you, is anything yeah. going to come from that? or? Oh, it's coming from that. Because you were, yeah. seriously, you as Jax, that was perfect. Well, yeah, yeah and I'm about to go go to Vancouver and shoot another thing. Well, and that's, and I, remember, yeah. I remember waking up that morning and someone being like, did you see what was on, like, for a Mortal Kombat fan? Yeah. Uh, that, we're talking about, if you folks yeah. haven't seen it, there was a, a short Mortal Kombat With film Jerry shot. Jerry Ryan and yeah, you. Jerry, Jerry Ryan, Ryan and, and, and Michael as, as Jax and, uh, just and a great Sub-Zero and, yeah, and Baraka. Just really and just captured, because there's oh, yeah. a great story behind those games. Oh, yeah, Kevin Tachiroin, uh, the director, he is, he is a real talented <clears throat> cat. Now, yeah, definitely. Now they've trusted him. They, they're taking it to the next level. Well, we're going we're gonna to do some short films about awesome. it right before we do the major wow, film. Wow, that's nice. so great. You know, and, and, so, and it's, yeah. it's perfect timing because they have a new game coming out. Exactly, and the new game looks amazing. And it's not—it's not even that. It's also, I think, uh, maybe not the world, but the industry certainly thought, "Oh, Mortal Kombat." We, we saw that—that that yeah, was cheesy, right. and they did those dumb movies. <laughs> the second movie, you guys with like a five-minute clip changed everyone. Oh yeah, mind. bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it's like it was like, "Oh shit, this can be real." <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is gonna be hard edge, man. This next, this next salvo of what we're doing is gonna take it from where we start and. Is going oh, I can't wait, man! Very I very can't wait. You're that. teasing it's the world. You're teasing the world right now, you, man. man. It's, it's going to be hot. It's so there's a, hot. so there's a lot of exciting stuff to look out for uh, coming up in the near future. We want to thank you very much for for stopping by and chat with us for a minute, man. And hey, if you ever want to come down to the to the Smod Castle, you know. Mm-hmm. Sit down for a little longer of a conversation, maybe when some of the stuff's oh, coming out of the new man. film. We'd be yeah. happy to have you hey, on man, anytime. We're all family here. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You Michael Jai White, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.